Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Sealed for Good. I'm your host Shandy. Today we'll be talking about the different classifications for the waterproofing membrane products. Um, we'll sort of touch on um, some of the specifics from the standards, how we determine what class the membranes are, and also what it means for you, the end user. So really when we're talking about elongation, we're talking about how much the membrane stretches and then once we've sort of determined how far it stretches, we also measure its breaking point or its tensile strength. So it's very specific. It's a detail that actually comes from the testing of the product. So every single one of our wet area grade, whether it's internal wet areas or external wet areas, they're all tested to the Australian standard. Now, as a reputable manufacturer or reputable manufacturers, um, they'll always have the minimum test requirements as far as 4858 and 4654.1, which is the standards for testing of waterproofing products to make sure that they're fit for purpose and they're gonna perform uh, to a minimum requirement. So the way that that works is the specimens are sort of drawn out to the specified thickness as per our technical data sheet. Um, if you haven't checked out our episode on how to check your wet film thickness to ensure you have the right dry film thickness, uh, we cover that in detail. Um, but it's really important um, that we always apply the membrane at the correct thickness because that's the way we test them. So they get drawn out, they dry, they're cured, and then they're cut into very specific shapes that are then stretched and tested. Before they get put into any durability testing, the first test they do, that's where we get our elongation. So for example, if we sort of start from class three, something like the grips at 38FC, we also have the P39 um, and a range of other products. Class three means that they will stretch before they snap or break to 300% or greater. From there, it sort of goes down to class two. So if we look at something like the grip set 2P or even the PFN sheet membrane. So these products generally will have elongation of between 60 and 299. Um, and then you have class one. So something like grip set C1P, the class one membrane, where it will have elongation uh, between 10 and 59%. So, you know, it's all got to do with the testing. And then from there, that will determine what class of membrane it is. So what does that mean for the end user? So really for you guys, it's all about the different bomb breaking products and the bomb breaking options that you have available to you, which really, if we start from class one, they're quite limited because it needs to be a minimum 100 mil millimeter bomb breaker tape. So something like, uh, the B50 joint band or the 150 uh, PF tape. So they're your bomb breaking options for something like, a, for your class one membrane, something like the C1P. Uh, 2P or your PFN, again, it's a tape bond breaking detail. Um, and in this case, it needs to be a minimum of 35 mil. So again, that's where your versatility comes in with your B50 joint band. Um, and then for your class three membranes, you have all the options available to you. So whether it be um, your PF tape or your B50 tape, but also that bomb breaker detail, the one that most of us are familiar with, uh, the 12 millimeter sealant cove. Um, and that's pretty much in a nutshell, um, how we get the classifications, how that works in with what you install on site. Uh, if you have any more questions or anything else that we can cover for you, please let us know. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy waterproofing.